What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be talking about the different ways you can add hair tinsel onto yourself or onto your clients because tinsel has made a huge comeback. I'm even more excited because Donna Bella Hair just launched their own hair tinsel on their website. So at the very end of the video I'm going to share how you can get a hold of your own and then hopefully you can also find out which way the best method is good for you. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. Now let's go ahead and get started. First, let's talk about the six different colors that Donna Bella hair tinsel just launched. So the first one is the colorful one. It has an array of different colors. It looks super beautiful and looks great on literally almost anybody's hair color. And then of course, the silver one, super shiny, shiny. Then plum, violet, pink, which almost kind of looks like a corally pink, and finally blue. Tinsel is just such a fun way to add a little shimmer or sparkle for a special occasion or just because. Now there's lots of different ways that you can install them, which is exactly why I'm making this video. But we're going to start off with the kind of the easiest ones, which is doing it on yourself, which this method is only going to last you about two to three days. If you want to learn how to do some other methods that can last up to two months, make sure you keep watching this video. Okay, so if you're going to install these on yourself, you're simply going to take a singular tinsel of your, the color of your choice. So I just went ahead and picked this plum one. I thought it was super cute. And you're going to make a slip knot. So the way you make a slip knot is you're going to take your tinsel and split it in half. And it's going to be really hard to see because these are so tiny, but you're basically going to crisscross them. And then you're going to stick your fingers right on through that loop and pull on the one of the strings on the other side. And now we got a little slip knot. And basically what this is gonna allow you to do is pull on one side of the string so you can tighten it. So that's like the whole point, so that way when we get ready to install it on ourselves, you can get it really nice and close to the root. Another thing you're probably gonna want to have on hand are just some little baby clips, so that way it can be like a second hand for you. And this is also a really good technique if you wanna put it like right on your part line and you want it super visible. But again, these only last about two to three days if you install them this way. So I'm gonna show you how to do this method on this mannequin so you can get really up close and you're gonna be able to see the contrast between the blonde hair and this magenta tinsel. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna isolate out just a few strands of hair, literally like five strands, so nothing super big. I'm gonna put this clip here just to help me out a little later. And all you're gonna do is take that hair right on through that loop, and you're gonna get the tinsel pretty close to the root there. And this is where I like to use this hair clip just to give me an extra set of hands. And since you have the slip knot, the way it's designed is you can pull it on one side so it can go all the way up to the root area and you can tie a knot. Once you have that done, you're simply gonna tie another knot. And then this is where I would incorporate the hair. And you're gonna tie a knot on one side with the hair and just the tinsel. And then do the other side. And then do two more knots here just for security with just the tinsel. And voila! Now we have tinsel installed and you can do as many pieces as you like and put them right on the hairline. 
So like I mentioned, the slip knot technique is only gonna last about two to three days, but you can put them right on the hairline and they look super cute and it's perfect for just kind of like a one night special occasion kind of thing. But if you want to make them last even a little bit longer, these are some of my favorite techniques. I love using silicone beads in addition to the tinsel and this is how you do it. You're simply gonna take a silicone bead that matches closely to your root color and then tie honestly as many pieces as you like onto that bead. I would probably stick to maybe one to three pieces of tinsel per silicone bead because you do wanna allow for enough room for the natural hair to slip through it. Just make sure that when you add in the pieces of tinsel to the silicone bead, you're gonna tie just two knots so that way the tinsel is not gonna go anywhere. Basically, the only way that these can be installed is with a loop tool and the Lux tool and in order to get them removed, you need the Lux tool to open the bead up so that way you can release it, which is why these last so long. So let me go ahead and show you how that's done. So you're simply gonna take your loop tool already fed in with your bead right here, and I'm just gonna select a little bit of hair. Now usually I like to put these underneath because they are with a bead, so you don't want the bead to be visible but I'm just gonna show you on the top here so you can see all of these methods side by side. So I looped the hair through this loop tool and now I'm just gonna guide that bead right on up. And now the bead is on the hair. Now I usually recommend the silicone bead because there's silicone inside of that bead to help protect the hair since that's the only thing living inside of that bead. And then you're just gonna guide it up close, turn your Lux tool so it's very comfortable and not too close to the root, but close enough. And then you're going to secure it three times, once in the middle and once on each side. Now you can already see we were able to put in three strands here, so it looks like six strands in one, which is why a lot of people prefer this method over the individual slip knot technique. The next method that I'm gonna show you is how to custom make your own tinsel tapins. Now tapins are still super popular and what better way than to add some tinsel to your tapes? Now you can actually add these to any tape and extension, but if you wanted to make your own, just simply purchase the single-sided tape and then add each tinsel on to one of the side of the tapes and then just basically sandwich it right onto another single-sided tape. And voila, you made in your own tape and extension. So let me go ahead and show you how to install that. Now in order to get your tape in installed, you're gonna make sure you have a nice clean section. And I'm actually gonna isolate out my section. I want it really paper thin because we already added in all of that tinsel there. So I wanna make sure that this is gonna stick beautifully and seamlessly. Simply take your tape that you made and sandwich that right on down. And then you're gonna take your single-sided tape and sandwich that right on top. And make sure you press down in the center and on the sides. And now you have your own custom tape in tinsel. Now there are lots of creative ways on how you can install tinsel, but these are just some of the most favorite methods that I've run into. You can also explore using keratin bonds, weaving them into your hybrid wefts, and even adding them into some braided hairstyles. Now these six different shades that Donabella carries comes with 600 strands per pack, and they are 120 centimeters long, making them super customizable for any length. Just keep in mind you want to use really low heat when curling tinsel. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite method was and which one you're gonna try. To learn more about everything Donabella hair and all the tools and tinsel that I use today, be sure to head on over to donabellahair.com. And don't forget to use your coupon code Marella to save 10% on your purchase. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, 
And be sure to follow me on all my other social channels like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, all under Morella Minnelli. And if you want free education sent right to your inbox, be sure to head on over to morellaminnelli.com and sign up for my newsletter. If you enjoy listening to podcasts, be sure to check out Hair b and It's a podcast for hairstylists just like you to simplify their hair, beauty, and their business goals. And finally, be sure to check out my other hair tutorials right here on this channel, and I will see you next time.